back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Bianca. We are getting ready for the gym. Colin's over there shaking up his pre-workout. <laughs> if you are always here, what's up? Welcome back. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe and you stick around and you join the fam. But we've got leg day today. We've got our Friday routine. You know, we go to Connor's game tonight. We've got a lot of work to do. The only thing different about today is that at two o'clock, I have a doctor's appointment with the OBGYN to get the bar out of my arm. <laughs> and go on something else. But we're gonna evaluate like what else I should go on when we get there. But I'm thinking, I hate my best friend Haven calls it the mini pill, which is like half and really low hormones and like just barely anything but does the job. So we'll see about that. Yesterday was Mental Health Awareness Day. And so if you missed my Instagram post, you should definitely go check it out. But we're gonna do the motivational question of the day right after Colin's done putting his deodorant on. Also, here's my fit today. I'm wearing um, the Gymshark long sleeve crop top in sand, and then these are the Vital Seamless leggings in the blue color. So, yeah, that's the fit. Adidas Ultra Boost on the feet. And then I'm gonna put on a sweatshirt, too. There's so much traffic. It literally took us 30 Forever. minutes to get here. <laughs> so now we're here, and it's light outside already. What the heck? We left, and it was, like, pitch black. It... Took so long. Yeah, the sun's rising. We are here to bring you the positivity part of the day. Mm -hmm. Now that we're out of traffic, we're positive again. <laughs> we're not going to ask you a question today. We're just going to talk to you about how you spend your mornings. Just talking about the importance of a morning routine and sticking to that routine and doing it every single morning mm -hmm. as a way to get yourself in a positive mindset. And like a self-care morning routine. Mm -hmm. So not just like, a, okay, I wake up, I brush my teeth, I put on my makeup, I put on my clothes, I eat. I yeah, like actually doing something that's beneficial to help you get into a positive mindset. So we've already given you some of the tools that like I use um, within my morning routine a lot of the time. like. Uh, being thankful like taking like five minutes to think about what you're thankful for Take and like then, five minutes to just like read a couple pages of a, a good mm -hmm. good motivational book Yeah, listen to a motivational video Taking positive video taking time to think about your why and your goals and mm -hmm. visualizing them um, Is another really good thing to add to your morning routine and then, or you could even just simply tell yourself, like, I'm alive and I, today is going to be a good day. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. And I feel like something that's really frou frou y that people think is weird is meditation. But honestly, I've never tried it before in my life except for yesterday. Okay. And it's actually me, pretty cool. <laughs> and I actually really liked it. He told me he did it. And I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I but, wasn't judging. I well, just, it's just it like, I always, nowhere. well, before I started like doing all this stuff to try and like be better, I used to kind of judge when people would say they do meditation really like, that's weird but now I don't think it's weird at all because it's really not what you think it is it's literally just sitting and breathing and well there's like different forms of meditation yeah but like the the whole point is just like trying to clear your head and like letting out negativity and like bringing in positivity so it's like I don't know you should definitely just like look up meditation video or something and try it because I think it really helps to like clear your head they're gonna be like, damn, what Bianca do to you yesterday that you had to meditate? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. All right. Mm. Anyways, we're gonna go to the gym after we cuddle in the car for us. <laughs> We just made a TikTok. <laughs> like so many people saying to get a TikTok, we finally did. To make a TikTok with a bunch of our fitness posts. Gary so we're still gonna, inspired. yeah, you're inspired by Gary V and Bria Jones. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna post all of our like fit post on there, but we're still gonna keep the fit Instagram too. So we're just gonna do both. Maybe like switch it up and do one on sometimes like one thing on one and then something on the other. I don't really know, but we just made a TikTok and it's our um, fit Instagram name, Mr. and Mrs. Fit Inspo. And then, yeah, I don't know. We're gonna try it out. We'll see. That's my idea. Starting my day with body bloom all over me. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do this. Drink this, I mean. Then drink my protein and then a shake. Shower, get ready, do some work. So Colin's in the shower. While he's in the shower, I'm gonna first make a shake. And then I'm just gonna kind of, whoa, I just got that. I just made our first post on TikTok and it's Mr. and Mrs. Fit and Spo. And I'm just gonna post like a bunch of our workouts there. And that's just the thing. I wasn't gonna make one, I really truly wasn't. And then Gary Vee and Rhea changed my mind. So we've done it, it's happening.
got ready. Here's my outfit of the day until we go to Connor's game. I'm gonna have to change, but I'm just wearing shorts. These booties from Princess Polly and this sweater from Target. Yes, ma'am, she loves Target. Anyways, here it is, yes, okay. Colin's gonna come with me to my doctor's appointment because um, I don't wanna go alone. <laughs> I'm literally the biggest baby ever. I know it's fine. Anyways, so yeah, I ended up changing into my little um, cheetah print loafers because I don't know, I just didn't really feel like showing up all bougie to the doctor's office today. And yeah, we're gonna go get coffee on the way there. Okay, we're in the car. I'm driving. I'm being a gentleman. <laughs> 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 and I'm kidding, I'm driving because I know where we're going. But um, we are on my way, about to be on the way to my doctor's appointment to get the bar taken out of my arm. They're gonna interrupt my clip. <laughs> Do you want to know? Okay, can I get a venti ice water and then um, a grande iced coffee without classic syrup? And then one pump of pumpkin sauce and three pumps of sugar-free vanilla. And then can I get extra pumpkin topping and light cream? Alrighty, so that was a bunch of iced coffee with light cream, one pump of pumpkin, three pumps of sugar-free vanilla, and extra of the pumpkin spice topping? Uh, yeah, and no classic syrup. Gotcha. Anything else for you? That's all. Thank you. Thank you. Every time. Actually, I guess I should just leave that down. Anyways, so, um, you didn't want anything? Huh? No, I'm okay. Okay. I like to just sip on yours. What? I should've got a venti. <laughs> what? Sorry. Thank you. Pumpkin in there, apparently. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, have a good one. You too. Big old thing of pumpkin. Oh, scary. Okay, I need to situate myself before I start driving, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Okay. We need to clean this car so bad, it's yeah. not even funny. It's actually really true. It's really bad. And it wasn't just like one person, not one of us made it dirty. It's like collective. Yeah, that's right. You, she can't, I, I can't get pinned for this. It's no. definitely like a group effort. Usually, we're like super good about it. I'd say. Mm -hmm. I'm just oh, that's bad. Over it's just here. Anyways, yeah, usually we're pretty good at keeping Cardi clean. But ooh, we've just been so busy lately and just shoving energy drinks in the side of her and like so much. I'm confused about this huge like gash of orange. Gash. <laughs> uh, I think I need to go straight still. Hope I can go without anyone hitting me. Okay, let me not make my hand look like a claw. <laughs> oh, it tastes the same. Oh, it's amazing. Really? Yeah. It's always good. Always so good. That's the signature Bianca fall drink, if anyone mm. was wondering. I'll come up with that a one winter one, good. don't worry. There she is, sitting on the bed. <laughs> right now, it's happening. And I'm getting put on a pill with like a medium hormone. Stay tuned. It's out! I can't show you. I guess, no, I can't. Um, the first one I got was like hard AF to take out too. By the way, it was hard. I was I was watching, and mm -hmm. it, she was like, <laughs> I absolutely loved her. I feel like I'm gonna go back to her forever now. It's Dr. Mock at the Carmel OBGYN um, off Wesley Chapel in Charlotte. Girls in Charlotte, if you need an OBGYN, Dr. Mock. Seriously, I was. It's 2:22. She took it out. Go to the right. Yeah. Okay. She took it out so fast. Didn't even question me. To, now to the left. Sorry. She was just like, yeah, whatever. Let's put you on the pill. Low, homo low hormones, blah, 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 blah. Let's just do the pill. Everything's going to be fine. Come back to see me in two months to make sure it's working. It's out. My arm got, you have to like numb your arm to get it out. But it was great. She was great. I literally liked her so much. That was a good, really good experience. Yeah, she was cool. Yeah. She wasn't like awkward at all. She's fun to talk to. Yeah. Yeah, I made Colin go back with me. <laughs> but um, anyways, now we're on the way to CVS to go get my pills. I never thought it'd be a pill birth control kind of girl, but here we are. I mean, I don't like feel relieved. Like I can't feel anything, but I already feel really, really good that it's out. I just feel like, cause I know we're on to better things now. <laughs> Say goodbye to my sis on my ovaries. Peace out. <laughs> the BC. Here they are. <laughs> 
we're good. Everything's good. Back home tonight for dinner, we are making steaks and potatoes. Friday steak day. Friday eat good. And then, um, yeah, Connor's homecoming game is tonight. And we are going to that, of course. But I'm about to sit on the couch and edit, or put up my video, put up an Instagram post, um, put up another TikTok video, um, reply to comments, and get all that done before dinner's ready so we can watch like Westworld or something because we literally haven't watched Westworld in so long. I can't even tell you like what's happening in Westworld right now. It's bad. Also, I'm expecting a parcel and Colin's expecting sunglasses, sunglasses for vacation and I'm oh, expecting a bathing suit. Mine's today, I got a notification. So, I'm very, very excited. It's from Vince, I don't even know how to say it. I'll let you know when it comes and then someone's gonna have to tell me how to pronounce that. I'm still waiting on this bathing suit. It's, I guess it is, what time is it? It's only 4.17, but usually, I feel like the mail comes by now. We are like multitasking, like work, business meetings, things like that. I feel like you guys are gonna be like very happy with us over these next couple months <laughs> in the content region of our lives. Indeed. I'm scared to look at my arm underneath, like the um, woman who took it out, my That's doctor. Yes, she was, but she was like, yeah, you're gonna have a big ass bruise on your arm, so make up a story. Because it wouldn't come out. Bianca was like a bear, I was like a bear without <laughs> yeah, I was just, yeah. Anyways, Colin is marinating some steaks for us for dinner. And then once just it's time, I'm gonna come help do the veggies. Potatoes are in the oven. Very, very, very excited about life and dinner. what we have coming <laughs> and dinner and Connor's homecoming game. <laughs> Hopefully it's better than last week's. <laughs> oh my God. I know, exactly. right? Well, they're probably playing like Derringer or something. Like that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't either. I could look it up. Colin's getting a phone call. We just got a lot of things going on over here, you know? I just posted an Instagram post. You look here. Everyone is really pushing for these presets to come out this year. I don't know, Call. We might need to rethink our strategies here. Yeah. We're just like into big things. We are literally spreading ourselves then because we have so many different ideas. We, I know, right? We need to hire an assistant. We can't even afford that right now, probably. <laughs> I just changed for Connor's game. Going comfy. Gonna put on some tennis shoes in a second. And also, we started watching um, Child's Play. Is that what it's called? Yeah. yeah. While we were eating dinner, and it's really, really weird. But it's pretty funny, not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, it came from this fast because we have to go to Connor's game like in three minutes, I think. Colin's trying to dry his pants before we leave. <laughs> Okay, I'm pretty sure it's called Vinciaga Swim, but I could be so wrong, because I'm terrible at that. But it's just, I got the white one. I've seen this all over Instagram, and I wanted it really bad. So here's the top, and then the straps around you. By the way, I ordered up just in case, so I got a 10 um, in, or maybe, yeah, a 10 in the top, maybe? I don't even remember now. I hope they gave me like a card or something. Nope, they didn't. I think I got a size 10 in the top. I don't know. I just wanted to order up just in case because I feel like people in Australia are so skinny. <laughs> All right, here's just what it looks like. And then here's what the bottoms look like. Isn't this cute? I'm so excited to wear it. Yeah, definitely order up. This looks teeny. I mean, it's going to fit, but I highly recommend ordering up. So I got that for Grand Cayman. You didn't even see it, did you? No. You wanna? Sure. Okay, I'll show you. Back in the car. Hello. Colin's <laughs> Okay, so we're on our way to Connor's football game. I didn't even get it. Is it raining? I hope not. It might be from the truck. It's like little tiny things. I think it is from the truck, maybe. Oh, oh jeez. There's a lot going on right now. Definitely not right. It's from the truck. Get yeah. in this lane because he's. I don't. If my windshield cracks, son of a gun, I'm gonna follow that truck and make them pay for it. On the way to Connor's game, I didn't have a chance to try on that swimsuit, so I'll try it on in tomorrow's vlog. The lighting was kind of terrible anyway, so you guys don't want to see it in that lighting, I bet. And we're going to his game. 
and then coming home and probably going to bed because we have Orange Theory tomorrow at 9 and that is the best part of Saturday in my opinion. I have this bag in my purse and it's kind of pointless. It's like taking up way too much space. Oh, perfect timing. You know what? People want to know what's in my purse. I'll tell you. <laughs> I'll do a, you. a what's in my purse I'll do video. a what's in my purse. Okay. Here is my purse. We haven't even named her. <laughs> what sort of should her name be? It should be uh, Lana. No, it can't be. <laughs> it can't be Lana. Just in case. <laughs> okay. Um, we should name her... Sasha. I was, I was thinking Sabrina, so that's weird. Okay, I'll do Sasha. This is Sasha for Colin's idea. Inside Sasha. Here's, by the way, Sasha is from Target. This is the Target purse, okay? The Target purse that is no longer in Target because every time I've been, I cannot find it. So I think you guys bought them all. <laughs> but inside Sasha, and there's, okay, listen, there's two pockets. Okay, there's two mini pockets, like where a little old Razor cell phone would fit. And then there's a big, like, zipper pocket on the side, and those are on the sides. And then the center is, like, a big circle. And then there's a pocket up front, but I don't put anything in there because I don't like when this part sticks out. But in the side, I have six dollars. Probably gonna get us a nice water bottle. Because <laughs> water is overpriced at these volumes, in my opinion. Um, I have a ring that I never wear because it turns my finger green. In this pocket, I have a Harris Teeter survey, a receipt. I'm gonna put that in my side door because we are gonna clean this car. And I have three more dollars. So now Colin can get like Skittles or something <laughs> at the game. Oh. Oh, am I putting something in your head? Yeah. <laughs> and then I have these clear little hair bands because I really like to do my hair in these if I'm doing like a cute braid, like a Dutch braid or something. Okay. And then in the zipper pocket, that's where I keep all my lip stuff. So this is my all time favorite lip balm. There you go. It is the Mamonte Lip Sleeping Mask, and I take this everywhere, and if I don't have it with me, it is the end of the world. I also have Lano Lips, which I got off of Amazon. The girl who does my hair, Madison, told me to get this. I'm actually wearing it right now. I really like it. And then I just have a bunch of... Oh my gosh, people are driving literally crazy. I have a bunch of MAC lipsticks, and Cherish and Yash are my all-time favorite from MAC, by the way. And then, if we come down here, I had another receipt. I have my sunglasses case, but my sunglasses aren't even in here on accident. I have this lotion from Levito. It's just some body lotion. I have my brand new birth control. I have, oh, I have this Novant Health Medical Card for Dr. Mock, who I just saw, which is weird. I didn't even know that was in there, <laughs> but my mom put it in there. This is the best gum ever. Tried it vibes. So good. So good. It's the only gum we chew now. I have a scrunchie. I have my wallet, which is from Kate Spade. Fun fact, when I was in high school, or maybe it was freshman year of college, I worked at Kate Spade for a little bit at the outlet mall just for the holiday season. This can be thrown away. This is Tylenol for Colin, but it's empty because he used it all. This is my hair elastic I got when we went indoor skydiving because they wouldn't <laughs> let me wear this one. So he said, here, have that. Here's more receipts. And another scrunchie. A lip pencil. Another lipstick. This is Baby's All Right, but you can't buy Baby's All Right anymore because it was limited edition, so I rarely use it except for like special occasions because I actually love that one. And then I just have my iPhone 8 Plus. I want the iPhone 11 so bad and I started saying it and then my phone started going weird and Colin thinks that I'm like purposely making my phone like do stupid things and I'm purposely dropping my phone so I can get a new phone and that is not what I'm doing. It's not what she's doing. But there has been some very suspicious moments like at the gym today. I started doing... At the gym today, Bianca had the phone on her lap while she was doing calf raises with like nothing holding it there and her her legs like moving back and forth and it's just sitting there and then it falls off and like off the ground. And I'm just like... It's invincible. It's already cracked now, so... I'm just like, think Bianca does to try and get an iPhone 11. That is not right. <laughs> It There's pretty, cop lights up here. Did you funny. see that? Yeah, I saw it. Anyways, that's what's in my purse. I don't know why so many people have been asking for that. I haven't done one of those in a long time. 
But that was what was in my purse. Oh my god. And what there's a lot of cop lights up here, so I'm gonna put this down before they think that this is like a cop tracker thing. <laughs> <that's over. laughs> We're home from Connor's game. They didn't win. It's okay. <laughs> but um yeah, so we just got back. It's like 10:30, and I'm trying to get it to focus on me instead of the camera lens. <laughs> but it's like 10:30, so I'm here to end today's vlog. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget, I have that upload schedule of every day but Saturday. So if you're wondering on the weekends where my videos are, I don't upload on Saturdays, but every day but Saturday. And also make sure you're, you're <laughs> make sure you're following me on my Instagram, so then you don't miss my weekend recap and all that stuff and yeah i will see you guys in my next video